Local medical institutions across China have taken a variety of measures to enhance their treatment capacities for treating serious COVID-19 patients and safeguarding the lives and health of key group people. In Wuxi County of Southwest China's uh, Chongqing Municipal uh, municipality, 35 town hospitals have set up fever clinics that uh, open 24 hours a day and establish green referral channels for key groups of people, such as the elderly who uh, with the tendency to become critically ill. In addition, a medical patrol team has been formed to provide door-to-door -door vaccination services for eligible elderly population and deliver medicine kits to key groups such as people aged over 65 and the disabled. The Daping Hospital in Yuzong district of Kong Chongqing has seen a significant increase in the number of COVID-19 patients since mid-December, 80% of whom are people aged over 65 with multiple underlying disease. In order to improve efficiency, the hospital has set up a special treatment zone for COVID-19 patients where a team of experts, professors and elite physicians and nurses has been deployed. The European Union said on Tuesday it has offered China help to deal with its COVID-19 crisis, including the donation of vaccines as the bloc seeks to coordinate how authorities should check incoming passengers from China for any new variants after several member nations announced individual efforts over the past week. In a news conference in Brussels, European Commission spokesperson Tim McPath Tim McPhee said over the past few days, the bloc had already reached out to Beijing to offer help, including expertise, medical information and vaccine donation. The EU's European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control had insisted that the situation in China did not pose an immediate overall threat to health. He explains that the variants circulating in China are those that are already circulating in the European Union, I should say in the European Union, and so as such, they are not presenting new challenges for the immune response of EU citizens. Like at the outset of the global pandemic in early 2020, medical experts from EU member states were already preparing potential action to be taken up by an integrated political crisis response meeting on Wednesday where measures like EU-wide entry requirements could be decided. Any other questions on COVID-19?